I saw the uh, title of the symposium today. This got new innovations, applied research. Um, thought I'd try to work this all in and the way we think about it. And basically, most of the time, we just aren't moving. And really, about 10 percent, 10 to 15 percent of anyone's day is actually moving, and the rest of the time, we're doing something else. And so we like to think about wheelchair design, about maybe what else we're doing in a wheelchair, not just moving it. But just before I came to BCIT, I developed this wheelchair that I'm sitting in here. It's called the Elevation Wheelchair. Um, it's been commercialized. I'm going to put the mic down just for a sec and show you two things it does. It lets you change the seat position and the backrest position on the fly while you're sitting in it. So I can change the seat. I can change the seat really easily. Get down nice and low for wheeling, or move it up higher or anywhere in between for other activities so when I'm talking to you or reaching a shelf. And similarly, I can move the backrest as well. So now I'm going to talk about some of the research we've done since then uh, about how chairs like this are being used in the community. And we, we, we're doing that for a couple different reasons. One of them is for funding, actually. Um, when you introduce a new product on the market, um, uh, prescribers, clinicians, and funders will look at it and say, well, this costs more than something else. Why am I going to pay for it? And so it's nice to have some evidence that it does something useful.